I just did a video about how there was a big news about Tesla that no one's talking about. And I feel like this news is also another big news that no one's talking about uh, because it has something to do with uh, charging plugs. Not very sexy, but Tesla is now going to allow either um, and going to sell an, either an adapter to do the CCS uh, uh, charging, CCS compatible charging, or be able to retrofit their Model S and Model X cars to do that with the adapter. So essentially the entire Tesla fleet will be able to also charge using the CCS uh, 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 plugs. And that is huge because one is essentially expanding substantially the fast charging network for Tesla uh, uh, drivers and future owners. But also it uh, it is also great for, for the customers because now there's kind of a competition, right? Between Tesla and other fast charging networks and there are choices that you can have. So let me tell you all about it. And I'll tell you there are some drawbacks and some uh, advantages that we will all have, regardless of which electric cars we're going to be driving. All of this is coming up next. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click on the subscribe button down there so you don't miss anything moving forward. Okay, so uh, I know this is not very sexy, but this is really cool. So this is the picture of a Tesla Model 3 in Europe that essentially just have the CCS uh, configure, configured uh, a port. Um, you can't even plug in a regular Tesla uh, plug in it. Um, and all of the superchargers in Europe, and I think destination chargers now have two cables. One of the one for Tesla, which essentially works for Model S and Model X. And the other one is for CCS charging ports like this. But you can also, looks like, charge other cars if you know Tesla is going to be making deals with some of the other manufacturers. So this is great. Now, by the way, I can't believe that this ugly, bulky, I don't know if you've ever seen them or held them. They're also freaking heavy. Uh, 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 plugs are essentially now becoming the mainstream, right? Because the uh, Tesla is using them now, Electrify America, the largest fast charging non-Tesla network in the US, and then Ionity, the, fa the biggest uh, uh, fast charging non-Tesla network in Europe. They're all using that. It looks like this is pretty much the solution for fast charging. Uh, in the future, the Electrify America and Ionity ones are actually able to get 350 kilowatts through them. So that's definitely, uh, definitely a win. Now, Let's talk about what's happening and where it's happening. Now, this is only happening in Europe right now. And I'm, I'm, I wish this, I, I don't know why Tesla decided not to kind of expand it to the US, but here's the thing. And this is, a, this is the pictures come from electric. Um, this is the adapter that you can get um, if you bought your car, um, I believe starting uh, May 1st. If your Model S and Model X, uh, uh, you bought on May 1st. You can buy this for 170 euros, which is $190 or so. Um, and then basically just plug it in like this. Yet yeah, this is another picture from um, electric. Uh, doesn't even look like it's uh, you know an adapter, right? Like looks pretty slick. But this is what um, you'd be able to do and be able to charge your Model S and Model X. Now, if your Model S and Model X is made uh, before May 1st, which is most of us you can still have it retrofitted. Now it will cost 500 euros, but it will include, uh, they'll give you the uh, the adapter for free. Now, I know it sounds like a lot of money, but I gotta tell you, uh, if you are relying on fast charging networks when you travel, this is, might just be very much worth it for a car that's $80,000, $90,000 a car, right? Um, in comparison, the Chatamo adapter that they've been selling for a while is more than 500 uh, euros, and yet it only can charge up to 150. I'm sorry, 50, 50 uh, kilowatts. Now let's talk about what the uh, why they're not selling it in the U.S. Will they? What will do for us, the the U.S. drivers, Tesla drivers, and uh, what the power that can uh, get through uh, this adapter and uh, the uh, this charging solution is? Before that, of course, I want to remind you that this video and this channel is sponsored by Byton. Check out the all electric SUV coming to the U.S. and uh, Europe at the end of next year. Uh, it's called Ambyte, uh, starting at $45,000 before the incentives, over 300 uh, mile range, and of course, over 50,000 people already reserved it. It's probably more now, but you should be there as well. It doesn't cost anything to reserve yours, about 60 seconds filling out the form, and there's a link to it in the description of this video. So get yours, like literally right now. Well, finish watching the video first. Okay, all right, so um, let's talk about the superchargers and, and the charging solutions for this. Now, this adapter and this solution will allow 120 kilowatts 
uh, at uh, V2 uh, superchargers. Um, and that is for Europe, of course. Um, and that's what the charging rate for V2 superchargers is for uh, Model S and Model X anyway. But uh, Tesla said they're still testing uh, what, what will be the max rate for the v V3 um, superchargers, which I believe will go to 200 uh, kilowatts for uh, Model S and Model X. So now, why is it in Europe only? I don't know. I know that that's this the, the CCS revolution is kind of going big there more than it is right now in the United States. I'm assuming they're going to do it here as well. And by the way, in Europe, it's not Electrify America. Uh, in Europe, it's an Ionity. It's a company that I've featured a few times on, on my show. Um, and they are invested by Volkswagen Group, BMW, Daimler. And I think I'm forgetting. Well, Ford. Yeah, I always forget Ford because like Ford, what? Yeah. So um they are in Europe. They're very similar in terms of specs and the growth uh, to Electrify America, uh, which is uh, uh, fully owned by Volkswagen Group as part of the Dieselgate uh, uh, retribution, if you will. Um, but that's what's happening in uh, in Europe with Ionity. And there's, that's also very much a uh, fast charging, fast growing network. They've been building it out uh, right now. Uh, locations are opening up uh, like weekly there. And it's, they're also trying to blanket Europe with their uh, charging locations. Um, now, Tesla released a statement, I think, to Electric or maybe just to General to Media, not to me, um, that they uh, basically will make sure that any... Chief, what is the word that they used? Uh, let me look it up. Um, any compelling network, any compelling fast charging network, you know, Tesla drivers will have access to. So that means that, I mean, I can't imagine Electrify America wouldn't be compelling with up to 350 kilowatt charging uh, uh, rate. But nevertheless, Tesla can say, well, we don't think it's compelling enough. It's expensive or whatever. So um, uh, I'm assuming it's going to come to the U.S. because I think a lot of people would want it. It will also unload the the uh, uh, the load that they have in there, some of their busiest supercharging locations, especially in the Bay Area. Area, especially uh, locations between uh, Bay Area and Tahoe, Bay Area and, 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 and uh, LA here in California, where, you know, in, during holiday times, it get, it, they, they get jammed. So unloading people to other fast charging networks, yeah, kind of would be losing them money, but at the same time, they can only make so much money with uh, so many locations they have. Now, I do have to say that Electrify America and Ionity is not cheap. Um, they're more expensive in general uh, than um, than uh, Tesla supercharger uh, rates, even if you're just fully paying paying Tesla customer for for fast charging. Uh, but they're also trying to bring their rates down. They're still experimenting with it. So I can expect, but this is good, right? This is one of those good things that maybe will bring some of the rates down uh, for the competitor and networks and they will level out. I just hope it's not that the other way around where Tesla will be like, well, they're charging a lot. We should start charging a lot. Now, they did try doing that, like I think a few months ago. Everybody was were really unhappy with that. So they lowered the prices a little bit, but overall, they have raised the prices already. They're not as expensive as Electrify America, I know for sure. But Electrify America just announced the new uh, pricing that they're going to roll out in the next couple of months. And that's going to be more sort of appropriate and, and more comparable to Tesla's. But guys, make no mistakes about it. Um, this is great. I hope we get it in the United States as well, but this is great. I mean, we, we are get, getting pretty much as close as possible to the unified standard for fast charging. So that's good. It's as ugly, bulky and heavy as it might be, but you know, that's good. I, I was worried about Tesla going Apple route and never joining the rest of the world with that, but I'm glad they are. So that's a big deal. Um, and secondly, it's, you know, obviously encouraging the other networks to grow and encouraging the competition and pricing. So I think this is a huge, huge news, huge win for all of us, for all of the brands are involved and all of the all electric uh, cars that uh, drivers that we are. Um, yeah. I mean, let me know in the comment section. Would, would you guys uh, or have you already moved, uh, 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 used the Electrify America or Ionity stations in Europe? And do you think this retrofit will help you um, just with your life, make it more convenient and make you wait less and have better choices? Um, don't forget to get on our VIP list. It's free and we're offering some uh, content that you can see here on, on, on our YouTube channel or on our website. So go ahead and sign up. It's very easy at e4electric.com slash VIP. But um, I'm looking forward to your comments about this one, guys. This is big. Uh, all right. Other than that, see you next time. And remember to stay charged.